This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you how to animate a toy car to follow a path on a map using Apple Motion. Here I have a piece of map animation from Artbeats. It's the state of Nevada. And there's our intrepid VW Microbus traveling across the state and ending at Boulder Dam, which is really kind of cool. Let's watch that one more time. State flies out. Now that animation there is part of the background. Car is what I've added along with the path and emotion along the path. So how do we create that? Well, let's turn off our existing car and let's create this whole thing from scratch. Let's start by control clicking inside the layers panel and create a new group and we'll call this car 2. Inside car 2 we're going to import command I. We're going to import a file which I created inside Photoshop. It's this VW Microbus. This is an image that I got from Pexels.com and I made the background disappear and put an a transparent background behind it and it's a shade too big. So we'll hold the shift key down, grab a corner, shift key constrains proportions so that it doesn't look like a squashed bug. <laughs> a small joke. Anyway, we'll just hold this down and make it about the size that we want and we now have our intrepid car. I'm gonna select the toy car because this is important. I need to animate the movement of an element. That means that I can't use the pen tool to draw a path. Instead, I'm going to create the path by adding a behavior from basic motion called motion path. Motion path animates objects to which the motion path is attached. Now let's go find where this state animation is done zooming right there. Type the letter I. We'll set an in for the motion path. We'll set an in for the car right there. Go back to the motion path and we'll shrink this back a bit here. Hold it. Let's see the motion path and let's make this about 50%. The motion path is defined by two points. This is where the movement starts and this is where the movement ends. The speed of the object along that path is based upon the duration of the effect itself. If you want the car to move faster, make the motion path effect shorter. If you want the car to move slower, make the motion path duration longer. I want to have the car end up in Las Vegas. It's starting near Reno and I want it to end near Las Vegas Boulder Dam. Now let's zoom back in again right about there. And this is the state of Nevada. If you've driven in Nevada, you know that it's wall-to-wall -wall desert. One does not wander around the state unless you've got lots of extra water. So oh, we're going to wander around the state anyway, even though I'd much prefer to make a beeline direct from Reno to Las Vegas. To add a, a point of where we're going to do a turn, simply double-click on the line. That adds a control point. And I want to skippy-poo to that part of the state and then we'll go about here and add a point and then we're going to come back and travel along the border and then right about here we'll go to Pahrump and then we will travel into Las Vegas. I want this to be a corner so I'm going to control click on the control dot here and set it to linear and now I've got a straight line from right here prim into Las Vegas and we'll pull Las Vegas right about there. We want this to be more along the state line. Click on this control point and we can adjust the shape of the curve. If you hold the option key down, you can adjust one side separate from the other. And now if we play this, uh, well, we've got part of it okay, but it ends way too close to the end and the car doesn't look believable. Well, let's fix the car first. Let's go back to the start of the motion path right there, and we'll find the spot where the car appears. Select the car, add another behavior under basic motion called snap alignment to motion. What this does is this now points the car in the direction of the movement, which is more believable when it's following a map but it ends right at the end of the animation. I'd like to have it finish right about there. 
So I'm going to select my motion path, put my playhead where I want the action to stop, type the letter O to set an out, type, select the other behavior by clicking on it, and type the letter O to set an out. And now when I play this and put it back to, we'll move it back to 100% in a second, it stops there before it repeats. Okay, so far we're doing great, except I want to have the car sort of fade in. So we want to start the in right about there. Type the letter I. Notice I have toy car selected. Add one more behavior, which is a fade in, fade out behavior. Open up the HUD, which is a heads up display. I don't want it to fade out, and I want the fade in to take about, oh, I don't know, 10 to 12 frames. Now as I play this, well, let's deselect everything, make it easier to see. Perfect. Any one of these that we control click on, we can switch it from smooth, which means a curve, to linear, which means a corner. So whatever map you're working with, you can easily structure it so the car does sharp corners or curves, depending upon what you need. There's no limit to the number of control points that you put in. So this car can move all over a city map with no problem. One more time, we'll watch this. Deselect everything and fly up. Nevada. Ta-da! <laughs> It is such a cool trick. And the, the reason I like it inside motion is that we don't have the snap alignment to movement. That feature doesn't exist in Final Cut. And we have more control over the motion path inside motion than we do inside Final Cut. For this reason, I would create this animation in motion, export it as a ProRes 4x4 movie, pull that into your Final Cut project, and just treat it as a finished clip. This was an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 321. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.